just on the hostages, can you talk a little bit about what engagements the State Department has had trying to secure their release um, with Israeli partners and others? Uh, I'm not going to talk in more detail other than what I said in my opening comments. Secretary has had a round of calls over the weekend. You've probably seen those as we've um, uh, been reading those, those uh, calls out, and he has delivered a message consistently with everyone in the region. If there's anything you can do to send a message to those who are holding uh, 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 hostages, whether they be American citizens or whether they be others, that you should send the message to Hamas that they need to release those hostages immediately. And what is the U.S. telling the Israelis about a ground operation given these U.S. hostages? Um, uh, we understand that Israel was uh, brutally attacked here. Uh, Israel has a right to defend itself. Israel has a right to conduct operations to, uh, 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 to, to ensure the security of its citizens, to ensure the security of its nation. Uh, and we are in co communications with, with them about that, but those are decisions for Israel to make. Do you have concerns that such an operation would hamper any efforts to secure their release unharmed? Uh, we don't. Look, our, our point right now is that Hamas ought to release all of the hostages immediately. That's the effort that we have been engaged in. I wouldn't want to speak to, to anything beyond that. Can I follow up? Um, the partners that you're engaging with to engage with Hamas, are they being productive? Is Hamas even acknowledging that they're holding Americans right uh, now? I'm not going to speak to the details of those conversations. Uh, we do believe that, that there are um, uh, partners in the region who are playing a productive role here uh, and want to help secure the release of hostages. Um, but in, in terms of details of those efforts, I'm not going to talk, to talk about them publicly. And who from the U.S. is leading those efforts? Uh, uh, again, I think there are a number of people inside the U.S. government. Well, I'll say two things. One, the Secretary has been involved, in, engaged in direct conversations with his counterparts. Um, the U.S. government is also making uh, available to Israel uh, experts in hostage negotiations and host hostage recovery. That includes experts from the State Department. I'm not going to talk about those in detail. Those are private conversations we're having with the Israeli is government. Uh, there are a number of experts from in across the government who we are going to make available. Olivia. Thank you, Matt. There's, there's public reporting that, that the, the talks via the Qataris involve a possible swap of women and children being held in Hamas for women and children being held in Israeli jails. Can you comment at all whether the contours of those kinds of negotiations are accurate? Uh, again, I'm not going to talk about uh, the details of any conversations other than to say that we have made clear that Hamas ought to release all of those prisoners immediately. Um, that is our position. That is what we have advocated for. That's what we think Hamas should do. Separately. Um, are, are there Americans who are asking the State Department for assistance to leave uh, the region, whether from Israel or from Gaza? We have been in contact with a number of American citizens in Israel. There are uh, a number of American citizens who are longtime residents of Israel, some of them who are dual citizens, some of them who have just moved there. And then there are Americans who are there that were either visiting for, for business or for tourism or something else. And we have been in contact with a number of Americans through our embassy there. Um, uh, some who we have helped facilitate travel to depart the country. Um, the airport is still open. There are flights that are getting out uh, of the, the airport in Tel Aviv. Um, and so we encourage people to make the, you know, to, 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 to try to avail themselves of those options. We have also been in conversations with various carriers to encourage them to consider um, uh, resuming travel in and out of Israel, and we'll continue to do that. <laughs>